All right, just a couple of verses to show you that the Most High does hate people, but He does not hate them without a proper cause. Malachi 1 2 says that the Most High hated Esau and loved Jacob. If you read the Old Testament as well as the New one, you'll see that the Edomites, who are supposed to be the brothers of Yashorel, they're always giving Yashorel a hard time. And the Edomites are Gentiles. And just like the other Gentiles, the Edomites are wicked as hell. Romans 9.13 says the same thing we read in Malachi 1.2. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Alright? There are some people out there that think or believe that the Most High can't or doesn't hate people. But that's because they haven't read these verses. Yeah, and I know Job was an Edomite, but he had to go through some stuff before he was gathered into the fold and became part of the household of Yah. So he had to prove, you know, to the Creator what what was he made of? Was he is he gonna be like the rest of his wicked family or was he gonna come through? And he did. Alright, but I don't wanna deal with Job and his Lineage. I want to deal with these verses here. Psalms 711. The Most High judges the righteous, and He is angry with the wicked every day. So for those that think that the Most High is not angry at sinners, He very much is. Not just at their sins, but at the individual. Because some people believe or like to say that the Most High hates the sin, but loves the sinner. Where they get that from? Clearly, that is not what Scripture says. All right, this is from the Apocrypha, Ecclesiasticus, Sirach, chapter twelve and verse six. All right, here it is. Read this carefully. It says. For the Most High hated sinners. So much for hating the sin and loving and embracing the sinner, right? No, it says that the Most High hates sinners. And He will repay vengeance unto them. And He keeps them for the mighty day of their punishment. Alright, so for those that think that the Most High does not hate people. Well, He does. But he does not hate him just because, you know, he has a reason for that. Most people don't believe that. They made up a false God in their own mind. An all-loving God that does not punish and he loves everybody and he puts up with everybody's sins forever. And I don't know what kind of God they worship, but it can't be the God from the Bible. Most churches don't teach this but because, like I said in my previous video, if they did, the tight money would dry up and then the churches would be out of business, which these churches are nothing more than whorehouses, as the Bible calls them. They're set up by the enemy. The true church is the individual when you gather with other people, no matter where you're at. But anyways, yes, just a few verses don't let uh, people deceive you or your church pastor telling you that the Most High can't or doesn't hate anybody or that he, he just hates the sin but embraces the sinner. No, he hates both. We are commanded to hate the sin but embrace the brother or sister that is trying to get right but is still stumbling here and there. Remember, Scripture says, um, I forgot which one of the disciples, the apostles, asked Mashiach, how long should I keep forgiving my brother if he keeps sinning against me seven times? And he said, no, seven times seven, meaning towards the completion of this heathen age. Meaning there's a limit or there comes a time when, okay, you can say if your brother or sister and Mashiach didn't get it right before the time of the end of this age or before the millennial, then hey, that's it. You're not dealing with them and that's it for them. 
All right, so that's all I got for this video, and until next time, shalom.